Hello, everyone. I wanted to create a video to welcome you to career development. So counseling 528. Uh, I'm really excited about this class. I feel like this class has a lot of potential, I think more potential than you think it does. Uh, for those of you who are like maybe wondering a little bit of, of you know, why, why is there a career development class in a, in a counseling program? But it's pretty foundational to the field, actually. Uh, and and I think you'll you'll start to see that that career has a, a, a very significant influence or can have a significant influence for client client issues. So, anyways, uh, I'm Kirk Teeman. I'm I've taught this course uh, several different times. This is the third third or excuse me, the second time I've been teaching at this institution, but I've also taught it at the University of Wyoming. Uh, but yeah, I've worked as a career counselor as well as a mental health counselor and done some couples work and family work as well as well as play therapy. So I've dabbled in a few different areas of counseling. Uh, but yeah, a lot of my experience has been in career counseling. So I've, I've really seen how career counseling work can be really impactful for just an individual sense of mental health, but also their sense of just personal development and life direction and purpose. So I think it has a lot of, of, of importance and it really surfaces in the, the mental health sphere as well. Uh, so in this video overall, I just wanted to introduce myself and then go over the syllabus. So you have a, a better idea of what this course holds. And then there's also for this module, module one, there's also a, a video lecture of that goes over the, the Sharf material. So without further ado, let me share my screen and we can go over the syllabus. Okay, so here's the syllabus. Take me up on office hours. I, I really appreciate meeting uh, with students, especially like if there's anything that's, you know, any questions or concerns or comments that you have that you feel like it makes sense just to chat via Zoom about, take me up on it. Let's, let's talk. Uh, definitely, def definitely happy for that. So all of this intro information is important, so you can read through that and review it, but I'm gonna to jump to the assignments to start to, to discuss some of the expectations there. So there's gonna be three discussion boards throughout the this, this course. So 10 points for each one for a total of 30 points. Uh, they're gonna cover various elements of career, career development theory and uh, trying to apply principles to, to cases, et cetera. So, the, the, one of the other main things that I wanted you to be aware of how the sequence is going to work for this course is when there's a discussion board for that week, and you can see that in the modules in Blackboard, but also in on, on the syllabus schedule, which I'll go over in a moment. So for full points, you need to have one original post, and that's due by Wednesday of the week that we're doing the discussion board at 1159 Mountain Standard Time, and then respond to at least two peers. Uh, by Friday at 11.59. And be, be aware of, of peers who ask questions of you of your original post and be, be responsive there as well. And there's gonna be two quizzes. The first quiz is only 10 points. Then the second one is 15. The, the second one will be a bit longer and cover a bit more length or a few more chapters. And it'll be due at the very end of the semester, the very last assignment. So yeah, those and those can be, you, you can use open books, open notes. Uh, you, you can retake it up to three times. There is a time limit on it. So you have to be kind of refreshed on the information. You can't just, most likely you can't wing it and do okay. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll require you to be familiar with where the material is. And yeah, but it, all the quizzes are based in, in the Sharf text material. Then you're gonna do an autobiography assignment. So this is requiring you to explore your career journey, basically, and applying career assessments, uh, that Myers-Briggs type indicator and the strong interest inventory to yourself. So there's a link to take the Myers-Briggs type indicator as well as the strong interest inventory in modules one, two, and three. It's just a duplicate message just so you can access it. You, you must take those in order to get full points for the autobiography because you, a significant section is applying those, those assessments to yourself and just kind of reflecting on, on the results. If you've taken those within the last two or three years and you have those still, you can just use those. You don't need to retake it. Just let me know so that so that you have that. All right, and that and the page page length is no more than four pages. And I'll, and further on after the schedule, I'll go into the rubrics and kind of give an idea of estimates of page length of for the different sections. And the last assignment is the career intervention proposal. So it's twenty points for the paper. And then there's a five point presentation. So some and you're going to post the presentations to the discussion board near the end of the term. 
And you can read some of the basic inf information here, but then I'll cover more information at the very end in the rubric area, because I, I go into more detail of the sections, the information that's needed for the autobiography, as well as the career intervention proposal. Here's how the points break up, uh, total of 100 points. So every point you get is a percentage point. So all assignments must be completed in order to pass the class. That's pretty standard for, for ASU courses, but I just wanted to make that clearly written down in the syllabus. <clears throat> uh, the Scharf text, this is actually a text that the other sections aren't using. This isn't the text that it was recently changed, but I looked at the new book that was being used for our program and I felt like the Scharf text was a, was a bit stronger just personally. I feel like it gives more application like scenarios of like case demonstrations where there's a client response and then a counselor response to be able to see how the the different theories are applied so i think it gives some some helpful scenarios there uh, i think it could do better in in some ways with cultural considerations but the end of each chapter addresses cultural considerations uh but yeah i think it's i think overall it was a lot of the even though the the, the other text it's by ting uh, that's used in the other sections. It's newer, it's from 2019, but it's really referencing many of the same sources that Sharf was that are older kind of foundational sources anyway. So I figured we'd stick with the Sharf text for our course. All right, my late assignment policy is that all assignments are due on the uh, date indicated in the syllabus, unless you have accommodations. Uh, otherwise for every, so, the initial date that it's left or that it's that it's late, there's a 10% reduction, and every day thereafter is a 5% deduction. Okay. So here's the tentative class schedule. I don't anticipate it changing, but if anything on the syllabus changes or on the schedule, I'll make that very clear to you in multiple places. I'll probably make a video about it, send an announcement, send an email message. But yeah, this is the plan for the semester. So there's the dates, uh, the, the information that's covered. Uh, yeah, the Sharf chapter one, as well as some online career information resources, look over the syllabus, and then there's the discussion board. So with, whenever anything's due, you'll see it clearly listed here, as well as in the, the course in Blackboard. So we jump right into it. This chap this class is pretty fast. Uh, some weeks there's three chapters that we're covering, so it's pretty quick. Uh, so I strongly recommend you don't get behind, that you just figure out a schedule and a sequence. I know you have other classes too that are busy. So just find the sequence that works for you to stay, stay on top of it all. So there's all the assignments, when they're due, et cetera. But the last thing that I wanted to show you are the rubrics. So the discussion board rubric for full points, you can look at this just to know what I'm looking for. But then I wanted to mostly go over the autobiography rubric as well as the career intervention proposal. So here I go into the different, this is basically it's really similar information as what was uh, mentioned above, but here I break it down into the, the four sections to cover, and then I give recommended page links. So going over your cultural background, just relevant background information, education and training slash work history, then going to the, the career assessments, that's the strong interest inventory, as well as the Myers-Briggs type indicator, and then applying one specific career theory to you. And I list uh, theories here to apply. And if there's one that you wanna to apply to yourself that's not on this list, just reach out to me for just to get approval for it. Then I go into the different categories of A, B, C, or less for, for grades. Same with the career intervention proposals, pretty standard information is above to start with, but then I go into the sections as well as page length suggestions to follow there. And then there's the rubric there to follow. So I wanna keep these pretty brief if I can. So I'll, I'll pause there, but if you have any questions about the syllabus, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. We can ch chat in an office hour or just meet via Blackboard mail. That'll be my primary way of communicating with you is via Blackboard mail. So yeah, reach out, happy to, happy to connect. Looking forward to learning with you all this, this semester. So thanks everyone.